Hey everyone, in today's quick update, we're gonna go over some electrical changes I made in my Lance 825 truck camper. I installed a Blue Eddy 200L power station inside the camper with a manual switch. When activated, the camper thinks it's on 30 amp shore power. That's being charged with 300 watts of solar on the roof. I also installed the Blue Eddy Charger 1, which is a DC to DC charger, which charges the Blue Eddy off of my truck's alternator while I'm driving. Uh, between these two things, I haven't had to bring a gas generator on it uh, for boondocking, which this gives us some little more time out there, which we're all looking for. So stay tuned. Well, I had some questions about my electrical system upgrades I did to my 2022 Lance 825 that we're in now. So I'll show you the interior a little bit and then we'll get into some of the electrical work I did. The Lance 825 is a really nice camper. It seems to be built well, and it's amazing you can get this much room in the back of a six and a half foot truck. I currently tow it with a 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 4x4 crew cab. It has all the amenities of home, two burner stove, of course running water, hot water, a uh, little pantry here, a bathroom that I also modified with a Bogo Origin composting toilet, which I love. I love composting toilets. This is my second one. I really like it. I did a video on installing it in here that you can find on our channel. It has a nice dinette with an adjustable table that it spins around and it can actually move in and out, which provides you more uh, room here on the floor. The windows are great. They're gigantic, panoramic views. I think they're double pane. And the shades are great too. They're all integrated. You move it up and you get the room darkening and move it down and you have a screen. Small dormitory type fridge, microwave, furnace, and I have the AC on because it's 95 degrees out. So hopefully my video editing software has a good noise reduction or voice isolation feature. Uh, the bedroom is a little messy, but it's got a nice queen size RV bed, and it has a and it's the most comfortable mattress I own. Very comfortable, and it has a I don't know probably a 20 inches. Uh, TV there. I'm running a stock solar panel, which I think is 140 watt-ish for the house battery, which I believe is 100 watt lithium. I didn't change any of that. I think the original owner did. I'm the second owner. And I, he also installed three other solar panels with 300 watts of uh, solar coming in and what that does is it's it's wired into a, a Blue Eddy 200L solar generator that I installed in here. Um, I put it in the same battery compartment as the house battery and it fit perfectly and what I did was I wired it in such a way that the camper when I flipped this switch and hit a circuit breaker thinks that it's attached to 30 amp shore power because the Blue Eddy 200, Blue Eddy 200L has a 30 amp RV plug on it. And with the solar running, it's continuously charging that and then that's charging the house battery and it's worked really great. I also have a Blue Eddy Charger 1, DC to DC Charger, which originally was installed in my pickup truck. I now have it also installed in here and I'll show you some of that. Stay tuned. So it all started here. I tapped into the, the fuse box, the circuit breaker box. And what I did is, this is my main 30 amp coming from outside shore power. I moved that and switched it over to here. I created my inside 120 volt 30 amp, which is my Blue Eddy side. 
So to get it to work, right now we're running from shore power unplugged into the house. But if I wanted to switch to the Blue Eddy, I would kill the outside circuit breaker. I would turn on the inside circuit breaker, which is tied to my Blue Eddy, and also switched here. I wanted a double switch. Another safety uh, safeguard. And I would flip this over to inside, and then this Lance 825 truck camper thinks it's plugged into shore power because it is but it's shore power coming from this blue eddy 200 l which is tucked nicely in here i just pulled the wires out um next to the house battery so this blue eddy has a constant feed of solar to it and i could show you what that looks like hang on let's see what we're pulling in now Play on my Blue Eddy app. 200 L. There we go. It's overcast and I'm under some giant trees, but I'm pulling 12 watts and it's at 94%. I wanted to turn this on and power off the Blue Eddy. I would do the procedure I just showed you, but then I'd also have to tell the Blue Eddy that. It was drawn on the show, and I would just hit that button there to tell Blue Eddy to turn on its AC output. Another thing we can do with the Blue Eddy is plug it in directly to shore power to charge it from 110. And I can also charge it from the DC to DC charger. And for that, I have some thick gauge. Oh, I forget my numbers. Was it four or six gauge? Maybe be an eight. I'm running from the truck from the battery and alternator of the truck uh, back here and let me flip around this is the compartment under the dynamic closest to the bedroom but in this corner right here is my Blue Eddy DC to DC charger and what I do for this is right this connection here is right now the solar on the roof charging the Blue Eddy all I do is pull these out plug them into here and now I'm DC to DC charging. Because the DC to DC charger uses the same input on the 200L uh, as the solar, it's a solar input. There's not a separate one for the DC to DC charger. You have to use a solar input. So I'm either running the panels or I'm running the charger. Now I had trouble with the charger because on my 2024 Chevy Silverado, it has what they call a smart alternator, which doesn't always put out the same amount of voltage. A lot of times it's a 10 but until it needs it. And the Charger 1 has built-in protections. It thinks that my battery is low when it's 3 to 10, 11 volts instead of 13 or 14, and it won't turn on and charge anything. Now there were some settings that I got from Blue Eddy to help with that. And I found that if I run my headlights on, put the air on max, I can tr trick it and get it to run, but it's still sort of flaky. I'm not happy with the way that's working, I need to play with it a little bit more. I also brought my uh, voltage down on that charger one settings from 54 volts, I think to 40 or 36. I may have to drop it a little bit more, which was giving me about high 300 to 400 watts of charging power with those settings from the truck's alternator. This all took a while to do this wiring, run it, and, and get it the way I wanted it. And unfortunately, or fortunately, we love the truck camper so much. We've only had it for a few months and just went on several trips. But we we know we're going to like it. We like the whole idea of um, a truck camper being able to haul a side by side or boat behind it or another camper and being able to detach it from the camper and leave it at camp. Before this, I built a, a ProMaster van. I bought the biggest, tallest ProMaster that they make. Uh, I completely outfitted into a camper van, and it was awesome. We had that for several years. And we liked just uh, the portability of it. You can get to nice sites. Uh, what I didn't like is they didn't have it in four-wheel drive, so I couldn't get to some of the back roads to nowhere that we like going to. I got stuck once on a beach with it. It wasn't pretty. Or it's sand, anyway. Uh, 
So I always knew I wanted a truck camper. I've owned every other type of camping apparatus except the truck camper. So we bought this. We love it. And uh, we're going to be expanding soon here. We're going to be uh, adding a new member to the cast that you'll be introduced to soon this summer. Uh, we needed more room in here. He has four legs. That's your hint. And uh, we may add another after that. So we needed some more room. So we are looking at buying another Lance that we put a deposit on. It's a 2017 Lance 1062, which has dual opposing slides. That's like twice the size of this and twice the weight. So actually, I'm waiting any minute to pick up the new truck today, which is a 2025 GMC 3500 Sierra Dually 4x4 crew cab with a 6.6 gas, which has approximately, if the sales guy's right, a payload of 6,200 pounds which is insane. So we're excited about that. Hopefully it all works out, but I'm going to have to dig in and figure out the wiring of that Lance 1062 and do something similar. It has no solar on it, so I'm going to have to do the whole package. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I do like this setup. So whoever gets this camper is going to be ready to go. This thing's like brand new. The new Lance is going to require a little bit of freshening up. Well, if you have any questions on what I did, what I bought, uh, please leave comments below. Um, we're enjoying doing these videos. I'm not much of a talker, but I guess I'm doing okay. Uh, but I need your help to grow the channel to keep going. You can help motivate us to keep going because it takes a lot of work, but it is fun and rewarding. But by leaving comments, liking and following and subscribing and sharing our channel to other like-minded people, you really help the algorithm of YouTube send it out to like-minded people. Otherwise, they bury the channel and that'll be it. So we appreciate you helping out. You're part of this. Thanks. We'll see you soon.